Hey guys, what's up? Vault Dweller here. I just wanted to do a quick video uh, on how to set up your N64 to USB controller and set it up with your favorite N64 emulator. So what you're going to want to do is plug your controller into the USB port first, obviously. My computer, along with most of the computers I've installed these on, uh, automatically installs drivers so you're gonna get a little bubble here <coughs> saying new to, new hardware found and it'll let you know if it's uh, installed the driver successfully or not if that doesn't happen it comes with this little mini disc pop it in your tray and it should be all set so the first thing you want to do is go down into your start menu control panel I'm running XP uh, you're going to want to find the equivalent of game controllers on your version of Windows. Just go ahead and verify that you have the generic USB joystick. Uh, you can check out the properties. Uh, there's, an, there's an option to calibrate. Uh, you probably won't need to do that. Um, just a little demo here. So you watch the little buttons there. It, each, each button should light up as you're pushing it. You see if you can see that. So once you've verified that you have your controller uh, uh, reading there, um, you're going to want to go ahead and open your uh, your emulator. I'm using Project 64 version 1.7. Um, if you don't, have, if you have 1.6, it looks a little bit different, but uh, basically the same so you should be able to follow it off. Uh, you go ahead into options uh, configure controller plugin yeah version 1.6 doesn't have this uh, picture but you want to go ahead and make sure up here that you have your generic USB joystick selected uh, this is uh, what they call well they used to call it the dead zone yep yeah, right here dead zone um, with these controllers, I find you can bring it right down close to zero. I put mine at 5%, although I think that's kind of up to opinion or preference, really. Um, so you start, you, you, you go down, <coughs> and you see you get the C buttons here. You got A and B here. You got the analog stick, which will be your center stick. You got the digital pad, which is your D-pad. Um, Z, which is the trigger, start. And what you do is you go up, and I'm going to have to do this one-handed, so it might be a little tricky, but uh, you s you click on the little box next to it. It gives you, uh, I think it was eight seconds, and then you want to go ahead and push the correlating bu uh, button on the controller. So this says digital pad up, so that's D-pad up. I click it. I want to go down here, press up on the D-pad, and if you can see, it's changed. And that would be uh, POVQ. Nope, oh, sorry, I'm reading it through the camera. POV0 up. So that is uh, showing you that it went through and saved. So you want to go ahead and go through uh, for. I'm not going to do them all, but this will be your D pad. This will be your analog stick. Make sure you press straight up, straight down, straight left, and straight right for that. Um, uh, A, B, Z, start, like I said. Uh, this is so you can save if you want to mess the buttons around. If you want to put A, B, if you want to swap A and B, if you uh, want to uh, swap these around, the paddles there, which are located up here, which I didn't say. Um, you can save different profiles. Um, you can also set if you wanted to play with multiple controllers, you can go up here and set the other controllers while you do that. Um, so just go ahead and down, press OK. Should be good to go. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Vault Dweller out.